tips to help you look more stylish. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. Through my channel Busby Style, my goal is to help women just like you who are busy juggling life look like you have your act together, even if you don't. Today I want to share with you some tips to help you look more stylish. These are kind of my top 10 lists. These are essential. These are must knows. These are kind of like tools you can keep in your toolbox when it comes to looking your best and looking your most stylish. I'm really excited to share these with you guys. If you are new to my channel, hi, welcome. I hope you will hit that subscribe button so you get the notifications and you don't miss out on anything new. I've got 10 tips but some bonus tips at the end, so make sure you stick around and watch the whole video so you catch those bonus tips. But let's get started. The first tip I want to share with you is volume proportion. And what I mean by volume proportion is that if you wear something that is oversized on the top, in contrast, you should wear something that is more tailored and fitted on your lower half. For example, in this clip, you can see that I'm wearing a pretty oversized off the shoulder top. That is your volume. And then in contrast to that, I'm wearing a pair of dark wash skinny jeans, very fitted to the leg to offset that volume. If you're wearing a big flowy skirt on, on your lower body, then you're gonna wanna do something a bit more tailored and fitted on the top. Maybe it's a blazer, maybe it's a fitted cami, maybe it's a tank, maybe it's a bodysuit. If you're wearing really fitted skinny jeans or leggings, you wanna think in terms of wearing something a bit bigger on the top. You just wanna get that proportion right. And that is definitely one one of the tips that I think is just helpful to kind of keep in the back of your mind when you're getting dressed day in and day out. The second tip I want to share is to add a third layer. I know that in the summer months when it's really hot, that's going to be difficult to do, although you could do a sleeveless vest or a sleeveless coat or jacket. But in the fall, winter, spring months, it's very easy to add that third layer. It could be a mono jacket like you see here. It could be a cardigan. It could be a trench coat. Again, a sleeveless coat. There are a lot of options. A blazer for your third layer. That third layer is going to pull double duty. It's going to help slim hips, butt, and thighs, and it also creates a more stylish, cohesive look. When you really want to step up your game, add a third layer. The next tip is to mix your styles. What do I mean by that? I mean, if you're going to wear really classic, basic pieces, mix that with something that is more fashion forward and trendy. Or if you're gonna wear something that's over the top feminine, like a floral maxi skirt, maybe try pairing that with something more edgy, like a moto jacket. So you can see here, I've paired a white cotton maxi dress with an edgier moto jacket. It's also volume proportion. So the skirt part of that dress is so flowy and oversized and then the jacket is more fitted and tailored. But it also has that contrast mixing styles between the feminine and the edgy. The next tip to help you look more stylish is to wear a monochromatic look. And I'm showing you a look that is all black. That does not mean you have to wear all black. You could wear all white, you could wear neutrals, you could wear blush, you could wear, um, I've done an all yellow look. I mean, the, monochromatic just means all one color. I'm showing you black because that was what I was inspired by at the moment. This is a pair of faux leather jeans and a blazer with a really cool cami underneath. And when you are doing an all one color look, you wanna make sure that you try to mix your tones and your textures. So these are not all exact match blacks. They're not the same color. There's variations in those tones. And then they're not the same textures. I've got lace on the top. I've got faux leather on the bottom. It's a really great way to add some interest and depth and texture to your look. Taking that monochromatic look one step further, think about dressing in a monochromatic look and then also adding those tones and those textures. So if you're doing all white, for example, maybe you do ivory with bright white. Or if you're doing a blush look, maybe you do different tones of blush in the look. The next tip to help you look more stylish is to add impactful jewelry. And that does not necessarily mean you're adding a huge statement piece, although statement pieces are certainly very impactful, but it can be more dainty jewelry, layered jewelry, kind of like what I'm wearing right now with like the layered, the choker and this 
slightly longer bar necklace and then I have on dainty rings and hoop earrings. You could do something like that or you can go the route of the statement jewelry. If you are gonna do statement jewelry, I'd say pick one piece and then call it a day. Maybe it's a big, beautiful, layered pearl necklace like this one or maybe it's like a really cool choker necklace. You know, just one piece that really speaks to you that will definitely elevate your whole look. The next tip is so simple and easy and I feel like it's underutilized and that's just to throw on a hat. Like a hat will not only cover up bad hair, but it will also make you look more stylish. You could see I've just paired it with a pair of basic jeans and a t-shirt and the whole look looks more cool and edgy because of the hat. That's it, the hat. Just have a hat handy for those days where you need to just turn it up a notch and you don't have a lot of time to think about it. The next thing you can do to add more style is to add a really great handbag, whether that's a very sophisticated, elegant, structured handbag or whether that is a statement handbag. So here is an example of both. I've got a structured white handbag. This is a tote by Henry Bendel. And then here's a statement bag. It's a dupe for cult Gaia bag, cult Gaia, Gaia, I'm not sure how you say it. But you guys have seen this bag all over Instagram there's a reason why it's so popular because it does have a lot of impact and pop and it does stand out. It definitely adds some excitement and interest and style to your look. The next tip I wanted to share are sleeves. I wanna talk about sleeves. So if you're wearing a long sleeve shirt, you can easily roll up your sleeve to make it look a little bit more effortless and a little bit more stylish. And there is an art form to the roll, okay? So I'm gonna try to show you. All you do is one big long cuff, and then you cuff a second time a much smaller cuff, but you don't cuff it all the way so that it's meeting the first cuff. You leave some excess at the top. With the excess, you fold that back over the second cuff. That sounds really confusing, but it's not. It's very simple. And that's a great strategic cuff to use. Now, not every shirt is cuffable. I mean, some are gonna be too tight around the arms, but for those shirts that are on the looser side, maybe it's a chambray shirt, maybe it's a button down, a silky button down, then use that cuff, employ that cuff. It's a really great cuff. You can also play around with having your sleeve peep out from a blazer. So you just kind of zhuzh up your, your blazer sleeves and you let like a bell sleeve or some sort of interesting printed sleeve come out from the blazer or you can cuff the sleeve over the blazer sleeve to make it almost look like the lining of that blazer. So there are definitely things you can do and think about with your sleeves. If you have this like really cool chiffon sleeve that could be peeping out from things. Think about your sleeves and using those strategically. Do use that cuff and do think about having those interesting Interesting sleeve details peep out. The next tip I want to share is the knot. The knot can be used to do a couple different things. It helps make the look a little bit more stylish, but then it also can kind of suck up extra fabric. So if you have a really oversized tee, for example, and you feel like it's just kind of swallowing you up, adding a knot will pull double duty, it will add style, and it will also cinch the top so it doesn't feel so oversized and it creates more of a waist for you. You can use a knot for a regular t-shirt, you can use a knot for a cotton or jersey maxi dress. If it's a little bit too long on the bottom, you can knot it to make it shorter. You can knot the waist to define the waist. You can use knots in different ways. It's just one of those things that like you don't necessarily think about all the time, but it's so easy and so simple to do. I just want to make sure that you guys have that one in the back of your mind as well. Kind of like the knot is the half tuck and it's sort of this effortless tuck. You know, it's not the full tuck where it's just so neat and tidy and then you've got your belt and your jeans and everything's really classic and that's a really fine look, but the half tuck just feels a little bit cooler, a little bit edgier, a little bit more effortless. And all you do really is just take a small section of the front of your top or your tee and you just tuck it in. So you just take one hand, 
that one section and tuck that section in. You really want the back kind of hanging out. You really want the side sort of hanging out. You just want a tiny bit in the front tucked in and that could be to the side. It could be in the middle, wherever you kind of feel like it looks right. It's not going to work for everybody. So if you're carrying a lot of weight in your tummy and maybe a a really challenging thing to pull off, but play around with it. See if it works for you because I do think it's a really nice way to kind of create a waist, cinch the waist, but also create that effortlessness about your look. Okay, as promised, bonus tips. So those were 10 of my top tips to help you look more stylish, but I wanna share a few more bonus tips. And the first one is to drape just like I'm doing right now, drape your blazer or your jacket, your motor jacket or your trench over your shoulders instead of actually wearing it. This is really nice when you're at a restaurant and it's just a little bit chilly or you're at an event and you've got a coat or jacket with you and you don't necessarily want to, you feel like it, 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 I don't know, it might compromise your look a little bit and you just want to drape it over your shoulders. It has a very elegant look about it and it looks very stylish and it looks like you know what you're doing. Also, you should definitely have a tailor at the ready, tailoring your garment, even the smallest tailoring detail can definitely make your overall look more stylish. It can make your, your look more expensive and luxe looking. That could be hemlines, it could be nipping in at the waist, it could be nipping in a bust, it could be whatever little modifications you might need. Make sure you have a good tailor. Definitely care for your clothes in the right way. You're gonna get a lot more bang for your buck if you properly take care of your clothes. When in doubt, just wash something in cold, on gentle, with a very gentle detergent and then lay it flat to dry or hang it to dry. Do not dry it. Um, that's what I do pretty much with everything except for a few key dry clean only pieces. But most of the things that I have that I care about or I don't want to shrink or I don't want them to lose color or I don't want them to lose shape, I wash them in cold, gentle detergent, and then I do not dry them. It's worth it because you spend all this money on your clothes and if you wanna keep them looking nice, you have to take care of them. Another little tip is to stand up straight. I know we all have a tendency to kind of hunch, but if you walk around just sort of straight, shoulders back, you're going to just look more, not only more authoritative, but more confident and more stylish. It's going to really look like you just have more of an elegance and sophistication about you if you are walking with your head high, your shoulders back, standing up straight. And then the last thing I wanna mention is confidence. The most important thing to having great style, the most important thing that you can do or the most helpful thing that you can do to improve your style is to have confidence and that includes smiling a lot and that includes carrying yourself a certain way and that includes eye contact and that includes just feeling really good about who you are, where you are in your own skin and that will make anything look fabulous. Those are the bonus tips guys, I hope you enjoyed them. I will put links to things that I feature that are still available below in the description box for you guys to check out if you're interested at all. Do let me know if you have any questions at all. If Again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I hope you will subscribe and also over on the website busbystyle.com i have all different content over there so be sure to go check that out thank you guys so much again for watching i hope that was helpful and i will see you next time bye